The Piggy Bank. Mwah. Tom Thomas, why are you throwing away your money? That's not what I'm doing. I'm storing it. This is a piggy bank. Oh, here's another coin. I don't like its snout. That's one very suspicious looking pig. Are you positive your money's safe with her? Don't worry. Whatever I put into my bank here is not getting back out. This piggy bank won't give up a cent. You greedy piggy! Come on, Nolik. Simka must have taught you about how banks work. Humans came up with the idea of piggy banks because they wanted a good place to save their coins. For storing lots of money, people use a safe, a large metal box with a very strong lock. Now that kind of piggy bank's almost impossible to break open. The biggest safes are in banks. Banks use them to store their customers' money and other valuables. There are even safes in banks that are whole rooms. You'd need an awful lot of change to fill up one of these piggy banks. So why are you saving up all this money? For roller skates. How much more do you need to save? I don't know. I can't see if there's enough in there. Then just go and open it. But there's no way to do that. The only way is to smash it real hard. So smash it. Nyeh, -uh, forget it. I have nothing to put my money into. But what if there's already enough for roller skates? And what if there's not? All right, then I guess I'll count your money for you. Tidish! Oh, whoa! Tom Thomas, you've got a fortune in here! There are many different kinds of money, and they're not just coins either. Long ago, people paid each other with shells and squirrel skins and even parrot feathers. And of course, metal coins are more convenient than any of those things. And paper money is even more convenient than coins. One piece of paper can be worth as much as a hundred coins, or even a thousand. All that needs to be done is to print more zeros on it, and that's all. Today, humans can pay for almost anything without paper money or coins whatsoever. If you have enough money in the bank, you can just walk into a store, give the cashier your bank card, and take your purchase home with you without handing over any money. The bank knows how much money you spend, and they pay the store for you later. It's so convenient. So, will you count them? Here we go. One coin! And two coins! Wait, Nolik, what one coin, two coins? What are you counting? You have to add together all of the different numbers. Huh. You should have told me that before. Uh, I never learned how to. Yeah, that's what I figured. Come on out. What can I do? What if you try stacking the coins so they're like stairs? That's what I'm already doing! Huh? Huh? Why don't you try tilting the piggy bank over? Hang on. Stop! I'm getting buried! Put it back the way it was before! This is worse! Ah! Just put the pig down! No, look. Hang in there, please. I'll get some thread and lower it down to you. What? Just smash your piggy bank. But I like it. And what, you don't like me? Of course I like you. Well, who do you like more? You're my friend, aren't you? Of course. Then smash the piggy bank, will you? Okay, Nolik, I'm gonna do it. Are you okay? I'm okay. <sighs> Thank you, Tom Thomas. Thank you, my friend. No problem. At least now you can count up how much money you have. Nah, there's no reason to do it. There's no way it's enough for roller skates. You sure? What a shame. 
And now you've got all of this money here to buy a piggy bank that's totally brand new. The level. Tom Thomas, I'm really sorry. The movie this weekend, I have to cancel. You do? I need to go to Africa for work. I leave tomorrow. Oh, cool. You think I could go with you? To Africa? Can you even find it on the map? Africa. Here we go. Mm-hmm. No, you're still too little. When you grow as tall as the top of Africa, then I'll take you with me. Here, there, ugh. Uh, uh. Tom Thomas, what you doing down there? I want to know if I'm as tall as the top of Africa or not. Well, do you know your height? Uh-uh. Okay, then let's measure you and mark how tall you are. You just need to hold the book, all right? Simka, uh, how do we measure what's higher? The top of Africa or this line over here? Hmm. Hmm. It's a tough one. We need a piece of flexible clear tubing. Oh, I can get it for you. I know where it is. And we'll build a simple tool to find out the answer. It's called a water level. Let's do an experiment. First, we'll pour water into two bottles, a little bit more into one, and a little less into the other. Now we'll connect them with a tube so that the water can flow between them. You see? The water flows and flows, and then it stops. It stops when there's the same amount of water inside of both bottles. And if we do this with a simple tube, it becomes a useful tool called a water level, in which the water on both sides is always the same height. I'm going to watch the water level on this end, all right? Be careful how you lift it or the water can get out. Nolik, what's going on? The water inside the tube is even with the line. There you go, Tom Thomas. Where the water is right now is how tall you are. And? Well, it looks like Tom Thomas isn't quite tall enough for Africa. What if we hold the tube a little higher? You can try if you want, but the water's gonna stay where it is. See? The water level on your side always stays the same as on the other side. Uh, I'm not getting that tall for a while yet. And what if we just lower the map a little? wouldn't be honest. But it would be clever. There are a lot of great proverbs, but my favorite one is measure twice, cut once. And to measure things right, you need measuring tools. The simplest one is a ruler. With its help, we can find out the length of an object. A watch can tell us how much time has passed. A speedometer shows us how fast we are moving, like in a car or on a bike. An electric meter keeps track of how much electricity we are using. A decibel meter can tell us who is screaming or stomping louder. And a beam compass is used to accurately measure the size of a coin or a hole. We couldn't get by without wonderful tools like these. If we didn't measure the things we are building carefully, everything around us would just come loose and fall apart. Uh-oh. Dad. Dad! Look, Dad. Hmm, that's strange. Looks like you are a little taller. Does that mean you'll take me with you? Yeah. Are you ready? Yay! Ugh. But everyone who goes to Africa has to get vaccinated. You're okay with that, aren't you? I need vaccinations to go. Are you sure? Yeah, there's one against malaria, tsetse fly, crocodile bites. Altogether, there are ten shots. Ten shots? Yeah, ten. Oh. Dad, you know, I was joking. 
After you left the room, I moved the map down. Okay, I see. And I was joking about all those shots you need. What? You mean you don't need to get shots? You gotta. Just not ten. So how many? Nine of them. There's no vaccination anywhere to stop a crocodile from biting you. <laughs> but if you need a fix, it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix, it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix, it, please don't let their secret out. But if you need a fix, it, please don't let their secret out.